Thank you thank so you much so for much being for with us today, today, Melissa. Thank you for having me. If there uh, are people out there who want to keep up with you and, and learn more about your work, what's the best way to follow you? Um, so one more thing I'd like to say before I go is just um, kind of my shout out to everyone who's listening to advocate for your kids. So I meet a lot of parents who, um, and I used to be a school teacher, so also working with parents in the school system who are shy to talk about it. It can be very isolating. It can, um, people can, you know, kind of treat you like you're nuts. Um, and I'm an outspoken person, but even for me, I find it sometimes really challenging to always have, it's just exhausting to always having to be explaining to people, you know, how to keep the environment safe for my child every school year to kind of have to retrain another set of teachers and staff members. Um, so it, it really is um, challenging work, but I encourage everyone to stick with it and to help educate as much as possible. Um, to start a support group in your neighborhood. If you ever need help with that, I can, you know, share how I did that here and just, um, yeah, keep, keep educating the public on all of this. Um, I think when I started, one to two percent of the population had, you know, severe allergies and anaphylaxis. And in 2010, they're saying it's up to eight percent. So, you know, the prevalence is growing and um, people are learning about it. They're hearing about it more and more in the media. But we just want to keep educating the public. If you would like to contact me, my website is www.theallergymom.com. And uh, yeah, that's probably the best way to contact me through the website. So, thank you so thank you much, so Melissa. Yeah, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Great.